Hi, my name's Anna Margaret, and today I'm going to show you how I put this into a wig cap. I'm going to start by parting my hair down the center. This way I can make two braids, one on each side of my head. The goal is to have the braids start as close to the part as possible and for the braids to lay flat against my head. I'm Dutch braiding my hair. This means I'm crossing the center strand to the outside, alternating left and right. Each time I cross a strand from the center, I add a chunk of hair to that piece. Once all of the hair on that side is added to the braid, I'll finish the braid as normal, continuing to try to keep the braid smooth, but not wearing too much since it's hidden by the wig cap. Once you're done braiding, tie off the braid with a small elastic. You want to keep it skinny so that it doesn't make a big bulge under the wig cap. And start on the other side. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, starting at the top as close to the part as possible, and keeping the braid tight, flat, and close to my scalp. I think it's a good idea to have braids under the wig cap because they serve as a really good foundation and are easy for bobby pins to stick into, which can be especially important for heavy wigs, such as my Merida wig or my Penelope wig that has a ponytail. Once I'm finished with the second braid, I'm going to also tie it off with a clear elastic and get ready for the next step. I'm going to use some hairspray to try to slick back my baby hairs at the front of my face and at the back of my neck. The hairs right above my ears have a tendency of trying to get out of the wig cap, so I'm especially careful to make sure I'm putting those behind my ears and tucking those hairs back. Now I'm going to wrap the braids around the back of my head to the front. I then am going to secure them in place with a bobby pin. You don't have to worry about securing the braids too tightly though, because a wig cap will be keeping them in place. I try to use as few bobby pins as possible. Make sure that as you're putting the bobby pins in, they're not stabbing your head or causing you any discomfort. If they are, this discomfort will be amplified once you put a tight wig cap over top of them. And now you're ready for the wig cap. I'm gonna start by putting the wig cap in the back and then pulling it forward over to the front. Try to make sure that the wig cap is smooth and tight across your hair, adjusting the braids and the wig cap as needed more hairspray as needed to secure those baby hairs. Making sure to tuck in any of those baby hairs that we tried to hairspray back if they get loose from the wig cap. Depending on the style and type of wig you're wearing, you may also want to use a glue stick to adhere back those hairs with some makeup over. I like to add a second wig cap to help smooth out the braids and the creases from the first wig cap. Make sure to smooth out the band that goes around your head. After this, you're done! Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, be sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.